Hello and welcome to Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles. I'm Matt Parker and the Maths Puzzle this time is the one million bank balance puzzle. So there's a hypothetical bank which is running a, I'll be honest, ridiculous competition. They've said that if people come in and on the first day of the competition make some kind of deposit into their account, which starts at zero, and then the next day they come in and they change that by making another deposit, let's say, the bank will continue to update their balance by adding the previous balance onto the current one to give the next balance. So allow me to explain with an example. Let's say you go in on the first day and you put in a single unit of currency. So um, for example, I'm using a mass dollar. Ignore the fact that there is a pi symbol there. This is one mass dollar. I'll be honest with you, I couldn't find my Monopoly set because I've been tidying up my house during the lockdown, but I did find some old math dollars. So there you are, I'm gonna use these. Let's not get, you know, I think we're getting distracted here, okay? Try and remain focused on the puzzle at hand. The point is, you put in a deposit of one on the first day, which means your balance is now one. On the second day, you go in and you put in, just hypothetically, let's say five, five math dollars. Check that out, just because that's the only other denomination of math dollars. I could find around the house. So you put in, uh, I used to be a teacher, okay? I have a lot of old teaching equipment around the place. So anyway, you put in, people could earn them in the lessons by doing good work and then spend them on mass things. I was a, I, a different teacher. Anyway, you deposit $5, please try and stay focused, okay? It's your time you're wasting. You put in $5 on the second day, your balance is now six units. Let's not get bogged down in the currency. The bank goes, okay, so your balance was one, then it was six, we're gonna add the old balance to the next balance, so on day three, you'll have seven, and then on day four, you'll have uh, 13, and so on, right? And that will carry on all the way down. And the bank has decided that if at some point in the future, you can hit exactly one million units, then you get to keep it. You get to keep all one million, competition is over, well done, although, not quite that simple because there are some trivial solutions. You could go in on the first day and put in, uh, what would work? Uh, put in 400,000 and the next day you top it up an extra 200,000 to get to 600,000 and on day three, boom, one million, you've won. So the bank's like, okay, I tell you what, to make it interesting, if more than one person achieves one million bank balance exactly, the winner or winners will be the people who took the longest amount of time. So the challenge is, what are the first two deposits on day one and day two, such that it eventually hits $1 million after the maximum number of days? If you go onto the Think Mass website, there's a form where you can submit your two deposits, that which will then define that sequence, and uh, you've got a week to do that. We will close it at the end of Tuesday and then we'll award speed points to everyone who got the, uh, the, the best solution. And as always, the sooner we get the, the answer from you, the more points uh, you will get. But there's points for everyone. As long as you give it a go, we'll give you some points. So uh, do try. Uh, interestingly, the bank have said that they're not gonna clarify any of the rules of the competition. I think that's pretty clever. Well done, bank. So there you are, give it a go. You can submit your answers on the website. If you have any extra comments or maths or related puzzles or anything else you think is interesting, you can email that in to mattpluspuzzles at standupmaths.com. You have to use that exact email address and I will put some of the more interesting bits of mathematics that we get into the solution video, which will be out Friday next week. So there you are, thank you so much to everyone who's been getting involved in these puzzles. They've been a lot of fun, it's uh, great, and people are sending in some interesting maths. I said at the end of the last solution video for the triangle peg solitaire puzzle, I was curious what the optimal number of moves were for every position in bigger triangles. And sure enough, someone did that for me. So uh, Marek, with some help from a designer friend, they've made a website where you can choose what triangle you want, and then you can pick the starting and the ending points. They've already got the map of what the fewest solutions are for every possible position, but then you can choose your points and it will animate the optimal solution. So, Marek and designer friend, well done. That is excellent work. Thank you so much, everyone who's getting involved. Uh, from everyone here at Matt Parker's Mass Puzzles, it's been great fun studying these puzzles, and we look forward to seeing your solutions this time.